Gross to edible, it's working. Gross to edible? Wait, what's the name of your series? <laughs> so did you I think bad to good. I don't know, did you explain? It's gross to good. Gross to good. Yeah. Gross to good. <laughs> <laughs> We're all wrong. All right, Liam, what's one of your least favorite foods? Uh, probably tomatoes. Tomatoes, excellent. What is your f least favorite food? Tomatoes. Tomatoes? Tomatoes. Tomatoes. So we're just gonna always lay away whenever you're working with anything that you're putting inside a pan, always laying away from you so that if this splatters, it splatters away. It did kill the heat a tiny bit. We walked away for a second. I'm gonna turn that up. And I'm gonna go ahead and cover it. I just like to use a sheet pan. I just cover it just because of the splatter as well as the fact that it'll make it work more like an oven. So this has been cranking away with the lid on for about 12 minutes now. We've just been sitting around eating some sugar cookies with Hallie, waiting for this food to get done. Um, this is what they're looking like right now. What we're gonna go ahead and do now that we got a good color on them, we're just gonna remove these from the heat. So this is that roux that I was talking about before that's in the bottom of the pan here. This is what we're gonna be cooking off. So I lower down the heat just a tad, and I'm gonna add in all of this fresh garlic that we just did. So ordinarily speaking, you hear me say it all the time that we need to use a rubber spatula for everything. This is one of those rare occasions where you're supposed to use a wood. Uh, this is because it's being cooked on cast iron. It's gonna help get all this stuff off of it. But you're gonna cook this until it's fragrant. So this is gonna be real, real fast. Don't burn your garlic. So this is gonna cook off just like this. You can add a tiny bit more butter if you want to, or an onion, some people do. I will say I'll add about a quarter of a tablespoon additional of butter and I'll let it run. Um, into that, we're going to deglaze the pan with some chicken stock. Deglazing is the process in which picking up all this roux, which is the cook from the bottom. It's going to pick all that up because that's all that flavor and that's going to cook right into the sauce that we're going to make. That's going to pick up all of, all of those, all that flavor that was baked onto the bottom. You can kind of see it working right here on the side. This is the same process that they use when they use cooking wine in the bottom, uh, in the bottom of pans to take everything up. So to this, we're gonna go ahead and add our heavy whipping cream and our Parmesan, and we're gonna bring that to a boil and then simmer off for about three minutes. So we brought this to a boil. We're gonna go ahead and put that down to the simmer. We're gonna add in our red crushed pe uh, pepper flakes as well as the uh, thyme, a little bit of the Italian seasoning, and then, of course, our sun-dried tomatoes. So I'm just using an entire jar of these ones, 227 grams, which is nine ounces, I believe. So we're just gonna go ahead and coat all of these out. Use about a tablespoon of thyme. And then red pepper flakes, this is just to add depth of flavor. You don't even have to add these, but I really enjoy them, so I do. But I will say some of the people around the house might not like a spice as much, so I'm only gonna go with half of what I normally do. Amazing. We'll give that a little bit of salt, pepper, readjust the heat just a little bit to bring it back up to the simmer and we're going to re-add our chicken and do our best not to make a mess. I'm going to bring that back up to the simmer with the chicken in it. It's going to reduce down. Re reduction is the process of taking out liquid out of the sauce or anything that you're cooking. So we're gonna reduce this down. It's gonna make that, uh, make that sauce a lot more creamy, a lot more solid, and it shouldn't take more than about eight minutes. This is looking good, boys. I'm gonna remove that from the heat or just turn it off. Give me a couple seconds, I'm gonna plate it up, see if people still hate it. All right, round two of Mary Me Chicken. Now, I'm super excited. Since Tristan's come and started helping us with some videos and doing cooking in the kitchen and showing me new techniques and whatnot, I have to say, everything Tristan's made has been like level 9,999 on a 100 scale. Everything's so much better. And so I'm curious how much better his marinade chicken is. I hope I'm not gonna wanna marry him. 
before you take a bite. What? 10 out of 10. <laughs> What's that? 10 out of 10 before yeah, you take a bite. Why it's, 10 out of 10. it's the best we've ever had. 10 it's out of 10. Best I've ever had. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Presentation. We're going to give him a lot. Presentation. I'll give you a good Tristan score. Tristan always has really good presentation. I will say that I don't personally dislike tomatoes. I actually really love tomatoes. Um, so this dish, we've made it in the hopes of changing some people's minds about how they feel about tomatoes. Let's go get spam. Yeah, well, she's not home yet, so we're waiting for her to get home. We're gonna save her a plate. Hallie has expressed that she's not the biggest fan of tomatoes as well. Is that correct, Hallie? Yeah, they just like don't taste good. <laughs> oh. And I, yeah, they're just weird. This is tomatoes, right? This is tomatoes. Those tomatoes. Ew! No, I'm just kidding. That was really good. Like, honest truth, one to ten. I think I need another bite. I agree. Would you marry a guy who made this for you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I will say the streak continues. I'm giving it a 12 out of 10. <laughs> that that is heavily <laughs> enough. <laughs> just a dud. Yeah. You quit. <laughs> I'm gonna give it. A 9 out of 10. She gave it a 9 out of 10. Could use more salt. A real okay. score. Here we go. We love, to see it. <laughs> we love to see it. Because tomatoes. That's the only thing. Wait, do you like the tomatoes in it? Like, would you eat it though? Oh, yeah. But just lose the point because, like, tomatoes. Just because it's tomatoes for no reason. Yeah. I would rate it 10 out of 10. <laughs> 9.75! Right. My boy Liam actually genuinely does not like tomatoes at all, has agreed to also try. So. Yay, Liam! Yay, Liam! Yay, Liam! Aurora tried it. What do you give it? I give it a 10. She gives it a 10. 10 out of 10. Do you hate 10s or 10? I just think it's disingenuous. Why? Why? Okay, Liam's turn. We're all gonna stare at you until you're. <laughs> I'm gonna stare at you while you eat that. What do you think? Dang. 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 All right, all right. Some honesty. I like that. I like you know what? My 12 is an honest 12. <laughs> I'm just saying. And mine is an honest 10. It's so Liam doesn't time. like tomatoes, but would you eat these tomatoes now in this particular dish? Yep. Wow! Gross to edible. It's working. Gross to edible. Wait, what's the name of your series? <laughs> We're doing good. I think bad it? to good. I don't gross. know. Did you explain? It's gross to good. Gross to good. Yeah. Gross to good. <laughs> <laughs> We're all wrong. Oh my goodness. Not even on. I don't like tomatoes listening. at all. They're yeah. just. They don't serve. I don't know. We'll see. He spits it out. <laughs> He's like. He just rejects it. <laughs> no. I only give honest reviews. I'll be honest, I just think the tomatoes take away from it. I just... Take away from what? It just, they just have like a weird flavor. I'll give it like four. Four? I would uh, scrape the tomatoes off and that would probably be like a seven. <laughs> you win some, you lose some. This gross to good series. Cut to Tristan crying his eyes out. <laughs> Sorry Tristan, wedding's off. Okay, so today's video is about taking something that you don't like in food and trying to make you have a different opinion on it. So like gross to good, if that makes sense. Now, Savannah doesn't like tomatoes. No, I don't think, respectfully, I don't think anything will change my opinion on them. Can, do you mind if I ask you, why do you not like tomatoes? Is it a texture thing? Is it a taste thing? Texture. Because I, I love salsa. I love your salsa, and your salsa has chunks of Huge, tomato. Lots of tomato. <laughs> yeah, but it's but also has other stuff that takes away from the tomato. I get that. So if there's something else there, you don't necessarily mind tomatoes. Yeah. Okay. Just like something where it's like the main focus is the tomato. No, thank you. Like on a burger, no. All right. Well, I'm curious to see what you think about this. This does have um, sun roasted tomatoes on it. Give it a try. This is called Marry Me Chicken. We've made it before, and I'm curious to see how, what you think. Actually, Tristan did this. I didn't make it. That's good, I can't really tell that the tomato's there. Really? So you would eat it? Nice. On a scale of one to 10, what would you rate this meal? 
Like a nine. This is really? really good. It's really good? You like it? Yeah. Success! Hey, you. Tristan. What's up? Come here. Oh god, here it comes. Oh! We take oh. those every day. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I thought you were gonna psych me out like a horror right now. No. <laughs> You're like, psych, I still don't like it. Well, it's yours, so enjoy. Thank you.